Hey, welcome back. So Horizon House, which is located on Seattle's First Hill neighborhood, is an independent or assisted living facility for people who want to live in the city. Oh, and they do have memory care for those 60 and older. So I checked with their dining services director, Barry McAllister, about what makes this place so special. Horizon House is a retirement community. We have independent living residents, assisted living, and memory care. It's a community for people to retire in, and they really seem to enjoy it. Right on. So you work at the dining services department at Horizon House. That seems like a really big job. Yeah, I'm the dining services director. We have a team of executive chefs, uh, sous chefs, servers, cooks, diet aides, uh, registered dietitian, which is really helpful. And we serve the population. There's anywhere upwards of 400 independent living residents and three meals a day to the residents and assisted living. We have full service restaurant, cafe, bistro, and catered events. Oh my goodness. So needless to say, there's a lot of food choices. Yeah, a lot going on. <laughs> so you're catering not only for all these different places, but there's a wide range of taste buds too, I would imagine, within the community. What menu options do you have for residents that maybe want to make sure that they're taking care of their health and wellness? It's like you said, there's lots of different cultures and lots of different personalities and all walks of life. Like I said earlier, we're lucky to have a registered dietitian on board and the executive chef. They work together with myself and lots of education. We do healthier choice buffets, a lot of plant-based forward diet eating and things like that. So and a lot of the registered dietitian works on science a lot with that ah. and the reasons why things are good for you. And we do tagines, we do Napoleons with portobello mushrooms, goat cheese, wow. peppers, uh, squash chilies, vegetarian chilies, and just try to get people thinking differently about the way they eat and especially in their later years of life. Food is an important part of, of holiday traditions, right? It's such an important kind of gathering place. What do you and the team do at the dining services department for the special occasions throughout the year. I'm assuming you, you plan for this. Yeah, so we go right back to different cultures too, all walks of life. We do everything from last year, we celebrated Bastille Day, which was hugely popular. I nice. was um, really excited about that. All the, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and we have themed dinners every month for them. We do elaborate displays, and then also the food to meet, to match these different events. In the summer, when the weather's nice, we have wonderful patios. We do banquets outside events. We have weekly barbecues, huge events for 4th of July and Memorial Day. So just really try to tap into all the different things and cultures and local and abroad. You know, I know that nobody has been immune to supply chain shortages and labor impact shortages. Has that affected your team during COVID-19? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely not immune. Product shortages, you know, we've had incidents, uh, incidents where trucks have the drivers have quit and left the trucks sitting on pike or pine and things like that it's it's really unfortunate but we do a lot of prior planning um communication with the residents for product shortages like hey we're going to try to get this we may or may not have it but we have this just in case and the team does a really good job with that and as far as staffing i think that everyone's been hit really hard we've had to adjust our service models to where it might just be takeout only or delivery only and there's been times where we have had the staffing, but they've been on lockdown in their rooms due to COVID. Mm. And that was really nice when they were able to come out of that situation and go back to full service dining. And currently we are running a hybrid model where we have full service dining at lunch. And then at dinner, it's um, the restaurant. They serve themselves the, maybe the, the beverages and things like that. And we have a yeah. like, line set up and we serve them off the line. And they seem to really enjoy it. It promotes that sense of community. You know, Barry, what I hear from you is that at Horizon House, it's much more than just getting the food made, getting it out. It sounds to me like you are really there. You're really dedicated and care. Yeah, it's the whole team here, whether it be dining services or everywhere else. It's one of the reasons I came here. And my own personal experience with my own grandparents and mm -hmm. the to community home and really changed my perception about what these places are. It really is about community and family. Aww. So to learn more about Horizon House and what they have to offer, just visit the website you see right there on your screen. All right, well, the shelves are full of gadgets, but how do you know what's worth gifting? Coming up next, gadget guru Steve Greenberg rounds out his top picks. So be sure to bring your pen and paper to write all these gift ideas down. Stay right here. Portions of New Day Northwest are sponsored by Horizon House.